Here's our current egg that's pipping. You can see them poking on the shell. I'm just going to make sure that he's through the sac, the little membrane, which he is. We've had a lot of problems with hatching this year. So some of them have actually hatched. So far he's doing good, but sometimes they get this hole right here. I've had a couple do this, and that's as far as they get, and they die. You can see that. So I make sure they can get out. <clears throat> so I know we're not supposed to hatch them. I try not to. But if it comes to that or them dying, I'd rather help them. For whatever reasons, I'm having troubles this year. But we'll do this in small stages. Because this membrane came out thick this year or something, I don't know what it is. Him chirping. We had one chirping that died, couldn't get through. So I've been doing some like this. And I've been able to hatch a few doing this carefully. Membranes really drying out. You can get this. And you also use a squirt bottle of water to keep it moist. This is day 23, which is typically the hatch day. If I let it go to 24, it'll probably die. That's what I've tried to do. <clears throat> A little tough to miss with the camera. too much. I still want them to build strength. See, there's a little, little membrane, the inner one. I've had some get stuck in that. That's why I started doing this. Next year, hopefully, be, the hatches will be better. I never had this problem before this year. I never did these teal. Come on, little guy. I don't know if there's not enough room for them to turn around in there. I've had a couple hatch normal like they should. And the one that was pipped with a really big hole, sticking his beak out and everything and talking to him, died. So after that, I started doing them myself, at least for this year. I know you went out. We're only going to go a little bit more. And we're going to leave you alone for a while. I 
have to get him back into the incubator. I still like to have them do some of the work. <clears throat> this is my first year with teal. But even my khaki Campbell eggs, I had a couple in there, did the same thing. So it's been a weird year. <clears throat> this will be my last one for a while. This is egg 18 from this one bird. There's four more in there. And that'll be it. She laid 24 eggs. Not all were viable. There's a little thin membrane right there. You can see it. That dries up onto them if you're not careful. I'm working on it, little guy. I only had two hatch normally. That's why I thought that was going to hatch normally too, but it didn't. Just assume this is not usually the recommended way to do this. In fact, I usually try to stay very hands off. I always lose all my eggs or stay hands off. At this point, this year, I'd rather have the chance to have them live. Next year will be, who knows, hopefully better. It's not like khakis where I can just keep trying. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for now. I don't know if you can see that. You can see them in there. He's going to go back to the incubator and I'm going to do a little light mist of water. Okay. Hey. 